Hello everybody, this is Dynamation4, and I'm here to show you this nifty little redstone thing I found. So before I talk about it, I gotta give you a little lesson. There's some math content here. It's about binary. So I have this board set up, I'm gonna read it real quick. First of all, there's the powers of 2. And that'd be 2 to the 4th equals 16, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16. That means 16 is a power of 2. And any number can be formed by adding together at most 1 of any powers of 2, such as 16 plus 2 plus 1 equals 19. 1 is the zeroth power of 2. You can do this for any number. For example, 7 is 4 plus 2 plus 1, 24 is 16 plus 8, 108 is 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4. It works for any number. The number can then be expressed using 1s and zeros in terms of the powers of 2 that make up the number, where 1 is, yes, add it to the total. For, so for the number 101, the 1 would be representing a 4, the 0 representing a 2, which you don't add, and the last one would be representing a 1. So it'd be 4, not 2, and 1 makes 5. 5 equals 4 plus 1. So 7 would equal 1, 1, 1, 4 plus 2 plus 1. 24 would be 16 plus 8 plus no 4, no 2, and no 1. 108 would be 64 plus 32 plus no 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus no 2 plus no 1. And this 1, 0 form is called the binary form of a number. And by forming random values for the 1s or zeros, you could generate any number possible. So just have a random number here, and you generate any number by finding what the non-binary form is. But when doing so, the max value must be a power of 2. No well, power of 2 minus 1 since the min value is 0. So 7, is you could generate a number between 0 and 8. Generate a number between 0 and 31. But what if you don't want to do that? So I have this board here to demonstrate a little bit of binary. So, let's see, pull this lever, pull this lever, and pull this lever. There's 22. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So how do you think we can get a max value that is not a power of 2? Well, you could just say, okay, make one of these, be, get, go up to 2 instead of 1. So you could do something like this, where you got 1, and you got 2. But that won't work, because what if you have this? You could say, oh, that's just another 1, but that doesn't make it random anymore. Because here's 1, here's 1, he's 0, and here's 2. There's two ways to get 1, but there's only one way to get 1 and 0, or 2 and 0. It's because you just have one, 2 bits, which is 2 on-offs, in pace of every section. So that's the end of that. So now generating random numbers in Minecraft, you use a bit system where you drop a diamond sword or a button into a hopper. And then depending on what goes in, it's because droppers drop randomly, you'll either get a small output or a large output. Small output being zero, large output being one. And by using that, you can generate random numbers. So you get three for the large output and one for the small output completely random. So how can you get three different outputs? Well, you have this, these two. It has to be something else that gives you a different output. Ender pearls. I'm going to take these. Now this happens a little bit differently because what you need is items already in the hopper. If you put 18 items in a hopper, you get an output of 1. If you add another item, nothing changes. If you add the ender pearl, nothing changes. But, once you get into 19 items already in the hopper, you add an item, nothing changes. But when you add an ender pearl, you get 2. This is not true for any non stack blood item like gold legs. You get a lot more. And this works for 20 and 21, but not 22, because once you get to 22, adding an item adds 1. So going off that, I made this little device here that already holds 20 pieces of redstone in. But what you have to do is turn off the signal until you're ready to receive, because otherwise you have a constant output of 1. So it either won't change the output, it'll raise it by 1, or it'll raise it by 3 to get 4. So I set up this button right here. And it should play a random 3 notes.
can play all three. Eventually it'll play the smaller one. Come on, randomness. Work for me. Wow, this is just unlucky. There it is. So what happens is the, tor the hopper's being constantly powered, so it doesn't send off any idle items. Otherwise, you'd be losing your leftover redstone. And also, make sure the redstone's in the last slot so that it takes from here first. So you gotta take one item, which means the hopper needs a one or two tick pulse. You need two so the torch turns off. So here's a monostable circuit. There's a sticky piston under there. Monostable circuit. Then two ticks later, it deactivates this redstone, which allows the hopper to transmit its signal. If there's the redstone dust in here, the signal will be one. If there is an ender pearl in here, the signal will be two. And if there is a non-stackable item such as these gold pants, the signal will be four. Then by doing a few little AND gates where you say, if this is on and this is off, then power it, you can get what the signal is and power three different things of redstone. So you got this, but it's kind of bulky. So I decided to make it a little smaller and also not use a sticky piston to conserve materials. So I got this in design. What happens is you push the button, which depowers the torch and this line of redstone. When this line is depowered, this comparator is allowed to output its signal, but there's nothing in it. So the hopper dispenses its item, comparator gets depowered, outputs its signal, then this returns the item, torch gets repowered as the button ends, and the signal gets recompressed. So what happens is, whenever you push the button, you leave the output 2, which shows 3 lamps. One, which shows two lamps, or five, or four, which shows five lamps, because it goes to the next one. I'd, pr I'd pr prefer to put them next to it, though. So now you have to be able to get this signal. So I made this. Same type of deal, just with what I had over there, with the little AND gates here, and that at the end. So you push the button, one of the lights will turn on. Completely random witch. It happens in a row, that's just a coincidence. I'm not getting the second. Are the pearls in there? That's just unlucky. Come on, work for me. Give me a... There we go. So this would be if the dust goes in. This would be if the pearl goes in, and this would be if the sword goes in. So overall, not very expensive in terms of supplies. You need a button, a dropper, a hopper, a comparator, two repeaters, five torches, and 16 flat-out redstone. Totaling these supplies of 11 cobblestone, 10 smooth stone, five logs or 17 planks, mostly for the sticks and the chest and the hopper, 32 redstone, that should be 31, sorry. 31 redstone, less than half a stack, 5 irons, and another quartz. And you can make this 3-bit random generator. Then you could attach this to your 2 bits and get 6 as a maximum number, which you could not possibly get without using this. You could get 8 and you could get 4, but you could never get 6. So, it's just, yeah. And just to show you again real quick, here's the little setup. You had a button on a dropper facing the hopper, three redstone, a torch underneath on this block, redstone here and here. This is the little generator right here. And this is just a signal receiver. So you got a torch and a repeater on one tick so that they match up. It comes down, and just powers this torch so you can do whatever you want with the signal. But this is inverted signal, so is this one. This one's the same thing as that, just moved back one. And this is just a lamp. If you wanted, you could put a two-tick repeater here. That way, anytime you get an output, it'll be in exactly four ticks. That's why I had the note block here. So whenever four ticks goes by, you get an output. Which is pretty good considering it's random. Yeah. So that's it. Only two repeaters, maybe three. Not that expensive. And you can get a random number between 1 and 3, and not have to worry about 
leftovers. Because if you wanted to get one to six, you need to go to eight. And then if you got seven, uh, seven or eight, then you'd have to retry, which could take extra time. And it happened three quarters of the time. So yeah, this could help you with your randomness. And that's about it.